Well, this parody song, made by an Iowa filmmaker, went viral this week. It started as a submission to a weekly film challenge. Iowans can get creative filming a movie only using their cell phone and only including the people in their own household during quarantine. A local 5's Eva Anderson spoke with the filmmaker who started the challenge that is now taking off. Every single one of us have our downsides in life. And for Iowa actor Dylan Yeager, one downside right now is being restricted from making movies. Not being able to go out and film uh, is uh, it's heartbreaking. Now, instead of filmmaking, he's on the front lines, a healthcare worker in eastern Iowa. My day job is my main priority right now, and of course my family. But he wanted to keep his film family connected during quarantine and came up with a competition. I was like, well, what if we uh, start doing like a self-isolating uh, cell phone challenge. A weekly virtual film festival coming to life from your living rooms. The challenge has just a few rules. It must be filmed entirely in your home with the people and things that you can find there. Also, the whole thing must be filmed on your phone because sometimes your phone is the only thing you really need. Okay, let's get to the real submissions. I never wanna lock you down. There was Quarantine Cats and Ricky Funko, a film using multiple actors who are each isolating from their separate homes. If you can't find a date, then Derek and I don't want you to come. And then there was the one that lit the whole contest on fire. Weinstein quarantine, here comes COVID-19. Complete with Clorox wipes and face masks, Rob Merritt and his wife Megan submitted a parody of Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire. Instead, this year is a dumpster fire. Trying to find humor because all of those things help people to get through. As you can see, there's the sunglasses. Merritt tacked a green screen to his bookcase to place him and his cat in flames. The result? Tens of thousands of views. I was just was trying to make people laugh and I was trying to submit something to the film contest. And seeing so many tap into creativity during this storm is what Dylan says he knew Iowans were capable of all along. Don't let this pandemic we're going through kill any dreams because you can find creative ways to still be creative. You just gotta use your imagination. Well, that was Eva Anderson reporting. If you'd like to submit a video to the weekly challenge, we have all that information on how to get involved on our website, weareiowa.com.